Welcome to the second episode of Hobbies My Wife Hates. Today we're going to make bases for Treadra miniatures for the Treadra Otherworld expansion set or the Treadra Strike Team. I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you at the end. The first base we're going to make is the duckboards planking using these craft picks. I'm going to take some glue. We're just going to put it all over the base. And then we're going to put these craft uh, craft picks on them kind of haphazardly all right A little bit more glue at the end. And then... Okay, so we got the basic boards down. We're going to use some accelerator to speed it up the gluing, pro the drying process. All right. And then... We're going to use some clippers. And then we're going to take our X-Acto blade. We're just going to shave off the edges. So there we have it. We have the basic shape. Of the boards. And we're going to take some of this Vallejo thick mud and we're going to spread it on using a popsicle stick. So it gets in all the cracks. All right. Maybe you want to use our little stand, painting stand. Push it down into the cracks and then scrape it off. And then we're going to let it dry overnight. The next base we're going to make is a minefield. I've made this three times today so far and screwed it up twice. Once without sound and once sticky fingers. So we're going to need a round base. Again, I used the 30 millimeter uh, flying fog bases for shadows of brimstone. And we're going to need some plastic card. Okay, I use two thicknesses. All right. Black on one side because I spray painted it. All right. And then a th little thinner plastic card. And a leather hole punch. All right. Got various, it's a wheel with various hole sizes. All right. And you're going to go to the biggest hole size. And the thickest card, and you're going to punch a hole. All right. All right. And then you're going to do the same thing 
with a smaller size on the thinner card. All right. You're going to do that a couple times. For as many mines as you want. I'm making three mines. All right. And eventually you'll have a bunch of little plastic card circles. And we're going to put them on here so we can see them easier. All right. We have two different sizes. All right. And we're going to take three of our best big circles. And we're going to put a little dab of glue. You're going to want, probably going to want a little pick. All right. The reason why we're using a pick is to keep the uh, the little circle from flipping over. And you just take a pair of tweezers and add a smaller circle right on top. All right. All right, and then we just take our base and our three mines. And we add some mud to the base. All right. Clean it up a little bit. And we're just going to add our mines. Mine one. Mine two. Mine three. Now, of course, in real life, they would be under the mud, but this is miniature war gaming, and we want our things to be seen. Now, we're going to make a scrap base, a uh, battlefield base, some scrap metal, and we're going to use some bits, scrap bits that I bought. They're plastic bits from Mungo's Marvelous Minis on Etsy. We're just going to add these to the, uh, to the mud, to the thick mud, and then just let it dry. So what battlefield would be complete without barbed wire? To that, we're going to make some fence posts. We're going to need two posts. I'm going to cut the first one. At a bit of an angle. And glue it to the base. Use some accelerator to dry it. And the second post. We're going to make it so it's like a broken fence post. We're going to put it at an angle. All right. And we're going to take some of that mud and we got to put it on first because unlike the other bases, you got to paint the base and the posts before you add on the barbed wire. All 
right? I actually made this video earlier tonight. But I forgot to turn on the sound. Okay, the first thing we need to do is start off with a base coat. And this we're going to use Oak Brown from Army Painter. It's an old, old crappy brush. Paint the whole thing oak brown. Next, we'll do a desert yellow. And brown mix. We actually have to finish the, the ground. We're going to take some desert yellow and do a straight dry brush. Right. And now we're going to paint all the wood. We're going to repaint our duck boards. These are the planks that you find inside. Old style World War I trenches. For some reason, they called them duck boards. Now that they're dry. We will do a uh, dry brush over the wood using our special dry brush from Army Painter. This is the Masterclass Miniature Dry Brush. Looks like almost like a little makeup powder. A uh, powder brush. I still had too much on there. I haven't wiped it off enough. And we're going to use bone for that dry brush. I'm using Army Painter Skeleton Bone just to highlight the wood planks. to dry for a few minutes we'll do some metal we're going to use army painter uh, this is a speed paint broadsword silver kind of their version of gun metal Paint the scrap with that. Let's 
speaking of gunmetal, we're going to use gunmetal for the mines. All right. Okay, we're back. And now we're going to uh we're going to do a wash. Army painter soft tone. We're going to wash the whole thing. Posts. Dirt. And we're going to let it dry. The last thing we do... You paint the side. Have to paint the sides of the uh, the base. Mm. Now for final touches on the bases. I'm going to dry brush the scrap metal with some uh, gun metal because that uh, broad, broadsword silver was just a little too bright. We'll just give it a little dry brush here and we'll call that base done. All right. The last thing we need to do is we have this barbed wire fence, this barbed wire post. We need that barbed wire to it. <clears throat> Next, we're going to make some barbed wire. I use the army painter. It's like a corrugated or rough uh, thin wire. Clip a decent length, and then uh, I like to prime it black before I, uh, and paint it before I actually twist it up. So here we have some primed black uh, barbed wire, and we're just going to give it a quick paint. Yeah. Using some gun metal. And then add some dry rust effect to it. And then we're just going to add a wash to it. I like to use black tone. All right, I'm going to have to do another, maybe add some to it. All right, you just take a pencil and 
wrap the wire around the pencil. And there you have your bobbed wire, which will get attached to the posts. We're going to attach it. We're just going to twist it around the post. Right? And right around the end of the other post. And then we'll add some glue to make sure it doesn't come off. And then we, there it is. We have our uh, our barbed wire fence post. Minefield looks a little plain, so maybe we can dress it up by putting some plant life down on it. Army Painter makes these. Little tufts of grass. So now we got a minefield kind of hidden there in the uh, in the grass that your uh, miniature might be walking into. All right, we still want to have them shown, even though, uh, like I said earlier, they would technically be uh, buried in the ground. We want to see them for the purposes of the. Uh, the miniature base. Maybe you want to make your base look a little muddy. So rather than do the method we used earlier, we can use some wet mud effect. Should base coat it brown. Again, remember you also do the fence post brown. Fence post brown. Let it dry. And then after it's dried, we'll put some wet mud effect on it. I really like this wet mud effect. Soldiers slogging through the uh, wet mud on the battlefield. Literally having to fight for every inch they take. Finally, again, add some uh, soft tone wash to it. And there we have it. We'll just finish up the sides and uh, and add some barbed wire, and this base will be done. There you had it. We made several bases today for your Treader miniatures, or you could use them for World War II miniatures or your Warhammer 40K games. Uh, they were never intended to be um, tournament or competition level. These are just so that you have some really nice tabletop bases, because I think any miniature looks better with a nice base. I hope you enjoyed it. And now uh, my, my son has something to tell y'all. Don't forget to subscribe or spiders will come in your bed.